What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be taking apart this LT5 so I can send the supercharger off to get ported, take the heads off, they're going to get ported with new valve train, uh, and then I'm going to do a stage 3 cam on the quest to a thousand horsepower in a 2100 pound car. So stay with me and I'll get this thing going. Thanks.
so at this point, I'm uh, pretty far into the assembly. I got all my parts, I got the cam, got the uh, Johnson lifters, and everything from Texas Speed that's going into this engine. Give you a quick look. Here are the heads. These were ported by K-Tech. You can see the nice milling marks in there from the CNC. Then here's a look at the cam card from Texas Speed. We've got, hopefully it'll focus there, 635 lift, 228 duration on the intake, 244 duration on the exhaust. So I also got the supercharger ported. Got a 2.7 grip tech on there. Here also you can see all the nice milling marks in there. They didn't do any work on the top. Doesn't see, it seem like it's port matched, but hopefully that all should be good enough. Here's the engine. As it sits, we've got ARP head studs, and I've got the Johnson lifters in here. Those are the 2126 uh, slow leak down lifters. And something about those lifters is you have to use the comp cams, uh, tool here which allows you to set each push rod length. Uh, the tolerances in the, these engines are not good enough to where you can use the same exact push rod. So you're gonna wanna set the preload at 35 thousandths on these things. So I need to get to that. But other than that, cam's in. Uh, I'm gonna get to the time lapse of the assembly now and uh, let's get it going.
All right, so here's the finished product. It looks pretty much the same as it did at the beginning. It's kind of a shame you don't get to see all the cool inner workings and the, uh, the upgrades other than basically the ARP bolts that are on the outside and the grip tech. But um, there's nothing like taking apart a brand new engine because 755 horsepower isn't enough. One of my neighbors actually asked me like, so you got this engine brand new and you went and took it apart. And I was like, yeah, so he shook his head, but so he drives a Honda Accord. So I, he doesn't really understand how all this works. Um, but anyway, so if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I'm um, dropping this video uh, right about when my Ultima is about to ship. So I just received an email from the factory with photos of my actual car. And uh, I'll put those after this part and um, you guys can check them out. It's orange, uh, it has all the carbon fiber options that you'll see on Ultima's homepage. Uh, Richard Marlowe, the CEO of Ultima, that's actually his personal car. So I love the orange. I wasn't really a fan of orange before this, but it looks really, really good. So, um, so check that out and um, please like and subscribe and uh, you'll be able to see my whole build process. I'm gonna document everything and uh, hopefully it'll be pretty interesting. So thanks.